So today I'm going to <clears throat> be working on two small pieces. They are, of course, they are Strathmore mixed media sheets, six by eight. Um, some little, little bitty ones. And sometimes I switch from working on great big um, pieces of art to medium sized pieces of art to small pieces of art. Um, and each one of them has their own um, value for me uh, and they do their own thing for me as I'm <clears throat> creating them so I'm gonna start with a stabilo all and I'm gonna use my non-dominant hand and I'm just gonna make some random marks but I kind of want the marks to look like they go from one piece of paper to the other. So I'm going to kind of just make the marks right through. And I'm going to use lots of different um, things to make marks. And this may just be a an experiment and it may be um, something that really works out. And it turns into something fantastic. So, all right. So now I'm going to take a Posca marker. And I'm going to make some random marks. And all I have to say about mark making is, is it really is like a personal language that people have when they make marks on a piece of paper. Your muscle memory tries to get you to make marks of things that are familiar to you, at least that's what mine do. Um, and so the goal for me is to make the marks um, as authentic as I can and as childlike as I can. So as you can see, <clears throat> it's starting to be whatever, but it's not, I don't necessarily have um, a plan for this. I just want to warm up on these little sheets and um, play. So I'm going to stop talking because I'm in the zone. And I'm going to see what I can create. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to bump. All right, so now I'm looking for... Looking for my teeny tiny little pencil, but I think it's misplaced. But I bet I could find one if I poked around. There we go. Yes. It is just a little mechanical pencil, but it makes the tiniest little lines. And the cool part is, is that I don't have to sharpen it because I spend a lot of time sharpening. So I have a choice here. I can either continue with this um, and do black and whites or neutrals. Or, I can bring in some, a couple of swatches of color. Let's see what we got going on here. This is a, kind of a hot mess. Um, but this is not the time to be fussing over. Whether or not it's a hot mess, because it's way, way early in the process. For me, at least. There's some little dots. I like dots and squiggles and hash marks and repeat marks. I love repeat marks, which is not surprising to me. This is, um, you know, I used to doodle in school every notebook or assignment book or whatever, everything I ever um, 
said in school there were, sorry, I keep messing that up. There were um, marks in the, whoa, in the margins. So I took some, so how did I get that? That's what you might be thinking. How did I make that? If you can see it, I know you can see it up close. That was a scratch mark with one of my pencils. And it could have been with a, um, a china marker. Then I took um, high flow acrylic. And sometimes to get depth on my pages, oops, I um, put a wash of fluid color over top of some things to kind of get them to um, speak to me a little bit. Now this one did the same thing. Do you see that? Oops, sorry. Do you see that? Where it's like lighter right there? That is the, um, it's resisting this, um, high flow. And you'll see that some of my marks are water soluble marks. So they're starting to move as well. So I'm going to dip my horrific train wreck of a paper towel. I use them till they're beyond help. And I'm just going to do a wash across this. Because what it does is it picks up just a slight amount of the water soluble pencil that I used in the beginning. And it likes it. See that? It's resisting. And it's, it's moving that to make it look kind of dreamy. It's moving that pencil mark. So this one looks pretty good. Let's go over here. See, it's kind of starting to hold some of the water. That will not be an issue. This is not going to buckle permanently. This will not be an issue once you get this framed. It will, if you lay it flat, it will... Um, be perfectly fine when you go to frame it because this paper goes through a lot of a lot of things when I'm um, working on it it could go through ten layers it could go through scratching it could go through um, you know a lot a lot a lot of things and so um, it's really a Fun thing, this paper takes a lot of abuse. All right, so I'm still using neutrals. Coming in with a Derwent, um, a piece of Derwent ink tense block. i try to get a little more water, see if I can smear that. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go, I'm smearing it. There we go. So, here are my two um, warm-up pieces, and they're they're not colors that I use. I'm gonna be real honest. These are not colors that I paint in. That looks like poo. But if I bring in some other colors, I may be okay. So I don't know. I've been on this orange kick lately, and. I really am digging the orange a lot. All right, there's some lovely little scribbles. There's a nice line. I'm going to come over here and I kind of like that. And 
I'm contemplating my next color. Oops, sorry. 